Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the micronutrient mini series. If you guys are new around here, welcome. My name is Becca. I'm a registered dietitian and I make lots of content here on my channel um, centered around nutrition, health and wellness, some non-toxic living, intuitive eating. And in today's micronutrient mini video, I'm going to be talking all about vitamin A. So let's just dive right into it. So vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin, meaning that in order to be absorbed into the body, it needs to be accompanied by fat. It is involved in a lot of different functions in the body. Um, for example, we need it for proper um, skin health, um, also for our immune system, and one of the biggest ones is for our vision. Vitamin A is essential to the structure of our retinas in our eyes so that they're able to absorb light effectively. If you've ever heard that carrots are really good for our eyesight and keeps night blindness at bay, you will totally understand all of those connections at the end of this video. So there are two different forms of vitamin A a that are found in food. There is preformed vitamin A and then there is pro vitamin A carotenoids. Preformed vitamin A can be found as retinol with an O um, as well as retinol esters and these are found mainly in animal products. Pro vitamin A carotenoids, um, for example, beta carotene is one of the, the most popular ones. These can be found in fruits and vegetables. When we consume foods that contain vitamin A, whether it's the preformed vitamin A or the pro vitamin A carotenoids, our bodies actually have to transform those compounds into active forms of vitamin A. So that can either be retinol with an A or a retinoic acid. And those are the actual forms of vitamin A that can then be used in processes and used throughout the body to carry out all different kinds of functions. So we store all of our extra vitamin A in our liver. That is the main storage place for vitamin A. Obviously there will be also some vitamin A circulating out in our bloodstream, but taking um, blood samples and looking to see the level of vitamin A we have in our blood isn't really a very good indicator of status because your body will fully deplete all of the stores that are in your liver in order to keep um, the circulating levels adequate. So it's really tough to tell, or it's not a very good indicator of how, um, if you're well nourished in vitamin A, just by looking at the blood specifically. Now, when it comes to food sources where you can actually find vitamin A, um, remember you can find them in both animal sources, that's the preformed, and then also in plant sources, fruits and vegetables, which is the pro vitamin A carotenoids. So when it comes to animal sources, liver is a really high source because again, we store vitamin A in the liver, so do animals. Fish is also a good source of vitamin A as well as eggs. So when it comes to plant sources, fruits and vegetables, dark leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale for example are going to be rich in vitamin A. They're pretty much rich in everything. They are so nutrient dense. And then outside of green leafies, all of the like yellow and orange fruits and vegetables are going to be rich in that beta carotene and therefore vitamin A. So oranges, carrots, um, yellow squash, mangoes, cantaloupe, sweet potato, apricots, all of these orange and yellow um, plant foods are going to be very rich in vitamin A. So that is where the vitamin A and eyesight and carrot connection comes in. So it's not just carrots that are good for your eyesight, it's all of those other fruits and vegetables as well. Now when it comes to deficiency of vitamin A, meaning when your body is depleted in stores, it does not have enough vitamin A to carry out all the functions it needs to, different things can happen. So first is night blindness. So like I said, with that whole carrot connection, carrots will keep you from having night blindness. It's because they're rich in vitamin A, which helps keep our retinas working um, in proper form so that we're able to absorb the right amount of light. So the first sign of deficiency is night blindness. Now, if it continues, night blindness is completely reversible. You can just supplement with vitamin A or you know eat a ton of foods with vitamin A and it should correct itself. Now, if it continues and you still do not have enough vitamin A, you can actually get permanent like corneal damage, and this is called xerophthalmia. There's also another classic deficiency sign um, when it comes to vitamin A and our eyes, and they're called Beto's spots. You can actually Google these, and you can see that there are big spots that form right on your eyeballs, and they're pretty crazy looking. And one other really classic symptom of vitamin A deficiency is dry, scaly skin. Now, like I said, you can supplement with vitamin A, um, but you wanna be really careful when doing so because vitamin A in too high of levels can actually be toxic. It's really hard to reach toxic levels through food because you would have to consume tons and tons of food that is rich in vitamin A to reach those levels. However, with supplementation, it's pretty easy to get to that level because you're just popping pills. So the upper limit that you do not want to exceed um, in order to not cross over into toxicity is 10,000 IU. So that is it guys, that is a nice little snapshot of vitamin A, pretty much everything you need to know, the basics when it comes to that vitamin. I hope that you guys found this video helpful, I hope that you will tune in to the rest of my micronutrient mini series, and I will see you
see you guys in the next video. Bye.